You're watching the news summary on Geo.TV. I'm Mohsen Abbas. The head of the Civil Aviation Authority, Nadeem Yusufzai, says the Bhoja Airlines crash investigation may take anywhere from three months to up to one year to complete. However, the head of the CAA states that unlike the Air Blue crash, the landing gear of the Bhoja Airlines plane was down and it crashed on flat terrain, making the investigation easier to conduct. The head of the Civil Aviation further says that the control tower had cleared the plane for landing, but the final decision to land or divert the plane to a different location was the pilot's. Yusufzai adds that there was no political pressure in issuing the license to Bhoja Airlines. Rather, the airline had cleared its past dues. The Director General of the Med Department, Arif Mehmood, says the Civil Aviation Authority was given two warnings about hazardous weather prior to the Bhoja Airlines crash. Arif Mehmood adds that under those weather conditions, the plane should not have been given permission to land, rather been directed to another airport. The conversation record between the pilot and control tower has been sealed as a team of civil aviation officials have begun their investigation into the tragic Boja Airlines crash. According to the initial report, the plane had caught fire prior to the crash. Meanwhile, the black box from the plane has been handed over to the head of the four-member investigation team. Life jackets, pieces of igloo and medicines have been found at the site of the avalanche in Gyari, 600 meters from the original location. According to a military press release, the recovered items show the magnitude of the destruction and nature of the avalanche. Temperatures have once again dropped in Gyari, posing difficulties to rescue activities.